hands on your head, show me that you're ready. Today, we are going to learn, how can I tell time on a half hour? What's our question? How, how can I tell time on a half hour? Are you excited to show me you know time? Yes! Are you excited to show me you know time? Yes! Turn to your partner and say, I love clocks. I love clocks. Turn to your partner and say, oh my goodness, I love clocks. Oh my goodness, I love clocks. Fingers locked. Let's see who's ready to learn. Let's see who's ready to show us. You are 148 days smarter. All right, let's see, let's see. I'm going to say... Gonzalo, come on up. Let's say yeah, Gonzalo! <laughs> Gonzalo has a problem. Let's see if we can help him with a solution. Gonzalo's problem is his soccer practice starts at 6.30. Turn to your partner and talk to your partner about how Gonzalo can figure out on an analog clock that it's 6.30. Go ahead. How can you tell on a clock? What does it look like when it says 6.30? with the solution. How can he look on an analog clock and tell that it's half past an hour? What's the clock going to look like? Kira? Well, at 6.30 it will look like the minute hand on the 6 and the hour hand a little bit on the 6. A little bit. I like what Kira said. Let's repeat what Kira said. When it says 6.30, the minute hand will point to the 6 and the hour hand will be half past the hour. So at 6.30, let's get my minute hand will be on the 6. Am I at 6.30 yet? No. No. Keep going? Yes. yes. Keep going. Stop. 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 Why did I stop? Joseph, why did I stop? Because the minute hand is on the six and the hour hand is a little bit next to it. Let's repeat what Joseph said. The minute hand is on the six and the hour hand is half past the hour. If you said this clock says 630, let me have a you. Help Gonzalo solve his problem? Yes! Good job. Say thanks, Gonzalo. Thanks, Gonzalo. Ready? Mirrors and words? Mirrors and words. When it's half past the hour. When it's half past the hour. The minute hand is on the six. The minute hand is on the six. And the hour hand is half past the hour. And the hour hand is half past the hour. Good job. Let's try it again. Mirrors and words? Mirrors and words. When the minute hand is on the six. When the minute hand is on the six. And the hour hand is half past the hour. When the hour hand is half past the hour. Then it's half past the hour. Then it's half past the hour. Teach. Okay. When the minute hand is on the six. And the hour hand is half past the hour. Then it's half past the hour. Good job. So. Is 1.30 one of my half past the hour times? Yes. 2.30? Yes. 3.30? Yes. 4 o'clock? No. 5 o'clock? No. What about 5.30? Yes. 6.30? Yes. 7.30? Yes. 8.30? Yes. 12 o'clock? No. No. All right, let's build some time. Hold up your dry erase clocks. Remember, I'm looking to give tickets away, and I'm looking for teachers to help us run small groups. Hold up your dry erase clock. Hold up your dry erase clock. On your dry erase clock, let's make 
1.30. What time are we going to make? 1.30. Good job. Hold it up when you're ready. Oh, and I like the notch. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Very good. Very good. Remember, are both of my hands on my clock the same length? No. One is shorter and the other is? Mom. Hold up those clocks. Let's see it. Does your clock look like mine? Look at your clock. Is the shorter hand, your hour hand, half past one? Yes. Is your minute hand pointing to the six? Yes. Does your clock say 130? Yes. Give yourselves a woo-hoo. Good job. Erase your boards. Erase your And hold up your analog clock. Yes, your analog clock, the real one, yes. Hold it up nice and high, hold it up nice and high. I see, I see, I see. Now, when I'm making time, here Maria, when I'm making time, I can, I can move both hands to make my time on my analog clock. Yes or no? No. No, which hand is the only hand I'm going to move, Josiah? The only I like Josiah answered in a complete sentence. Let's repeat what Josiah said nice and loud. The only hand you should move is the minute hand. The minute hand. Which one's my minute hand? The longer one or the shorter one? The longer one. The longer one. Let's move our clocks to say 3.30. What's my time? 3.30. Good job. Good job. Watch me. One thirty. Oh, hold it up. Good job, Jada. Jada knows what to do. Good job. Good job. I see 3.30. I see 3.30. I see 3.30. You have 2.30. How can we make it 3.30? Remember, you have to go an hour ahead. My clock already said 3.30. You have to do your times. Let's see your times. Does your clock look like my clock? Yes! Turn to your partner and describe to your partner what your clock looks like at 3.30. Good job, I like that. You got it? Good job. Class, class, class. Yes, yes, yes. Let's build another time on our clock. Let's build 7.30. What's our time? 7.30. Which hand am I going to move? My mid hand. Good. Keep going. And remember, if you get stuck, you can stop at 7 o'clock and then move the minute hand down to what number? Down to what? That's what you did? And, how, and then you move the minute hand to what number, Jada? The 6. Good job. 7. You have 7.30. You have 7.30. You have 7.30. You got it, Gonzalo. Good job. Is your minute hand pointing to the 6? Yes. yes. Is your hour hand half past seven? Yes. So what time is it? 7 30. All right, this is getting too easy. Let's do, let's do 9 30 on the analog clock and 9 30 on your dry erase clock. And I'm looking to see who's going to get a ticket. I'm looking for teachers who can run small groups. Oh, thank you. I'm looking to see teachers who can run small groups. Who can tell me in a complete sentence what their clock looks like? 7.30. What's the time? No, we don't move the clock that way. Minute that way. Go into the... Oh, you pass. Okay. That's fine. 9.30. 
30. Your clock is a little off. That's fine. Now do it on your do it on your dry erase clock. Do it on your dry erase clock. You're supposed to do both, lady. Good job, class. Turn to your partner and describe what your clock looks like at 9:30. What does your clock look like at 9:30? Job. 9.30. Hands on your head, show me that you're ready. Let's see who's ready. Good job. You guys are doing so good with time, you get a point. Give yourselves a cheer. Let's see, let's see. Look at my hands on your head. Let me see who's looking. Hands on your head, let's see who's looking. Look at my clock. Look at where my minute hand is. Look at where my hour hand is. What time is it on my clock? Blow the answer in your hand. What time is it on the clock? Blow the answer in your hand. Look at where my minute hand is. Look at where my hour hand is. What time is it? Oh, Ben's shaking the answer up in the air. Look at where my minute hand is. Look at where my hour hand is. What time is it on my clock? Release? 9.30! It's 9.30. Who can tell me in a complete sentence why it's 9.30? Why is it 9.30? Who can tell us in a complete sentence why my clock says 9.30? Joseph? Um, because the minute hand is at the six and the hour hand is Oh, very. Would be between nine and ten. Let's repeat what Joseph said. The minute hand is on the six, and the hour hand is between nine and ten. All right. Let's do this one more time. Look at my clock. I'll switch. Oh, I'm good. This one is a hard. One. Look at my clock. I know. Where's my minute hand? Where's my hour hand? It, oh, blow the answer in your hand. What time is it? Where's my minute hand? Where's my hour hand? Blow the answer in your hand. Blow the answer. Are we ready? We know it. Look at my clock. Abby, what time is it on my clock? Look at my minute hand. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Blow the answer in your hand. Release. What is it? Half past twelve. You can say either or. You can say half past twelve or twelve thirty. Good job. All right, we're gonna do one more thing before we get to our learning activities. Ready? Tell me, I want to make seven thirty. Turn to your partner and tell them how I should move my clock, which direction should I go, what hand should I go move, and where should my hands end up to make 7.30. Go. Well, go like this. Don't say go like this. Use your word. Which hand am I going to move? Not the red one. Which hand? Our hand or minute hand? Very good. Who can tell us in a complete sentence how my hands and how my clock should look? So it says 7.30. Aaron? Uh, the, uh, hour hand is oh, well, I like what Aaron said. Let's repeat nice and loud. The minute hand, the minute is at the six. And the hour hand is between 7 and 8. Aaron, can you 
tell us which hand, can I go this way? Moving no. the, the hour hand? No. No? Don't move the hour hand? No. Which hand should I move? Me. All right, tell me, guys, when I'm at 7.30, tell me stop. when I'm at, yes, stop. Stop. 7.30? No. No. What time is that? One wow, you got, oh, I see a teacher. You're going to run a small group. Let's go. Keep what? Seven thirty. No. What? It's six o'clock. Oh. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Seven thirty. No. I have to put what? The minute hand on. Six. Stop. Yes. Does it say seven thirty? Yes. All right, good job. Hands on your head, show me that you're ready. Here's what we're going to do next. We are going to do some small group and constructing time activities. We're going to do matching. You're going to analyze the time, and then you're going to match the times with the analog clocks and the word times. I'm going to call some small groups to table one, small group to table two, Kira's going to run, and let's have Joseph. Very good. And then, wait, wait, not yet. Don't move. <laughs> then, some of you guys are going to come over here with me, and we're going to build times together. Yay. We're going to identify clocks, analog clock to the hour and half hour together. Now, let's look. Some small groups are going to identify and match times. Some are going to build times with me. When you finish early, you're going to do the next page in your math journal. What are early finishers going to do? Next. next page. And then at the end, we're going to play a really good game. We're going to use our words to play I have, who has. Okay? Uh, Josiah, come on up. You guys are all going to get these cards. And this card, nice and loud, use your words. It says, I have, I have two, three o'clock. Who has? has 3.30. So his analog clock says 3 o'clock, and his digital clock says 3.30. He has to look for the match that has 3.30. So if you hear Josiah or another student say, who has 3.30 and you have 3.30, what are you going to say with your words in a nice, complete sentence? I have 3.30. I have 3.30. Very good. So, you're going to pick a card. And what does it say? Stand up nice and loud. What does your analog clock say? What time is that? Look at the hour hand. Look at the minute hand. 5.30. Well, you, I have... I have 5.30. Who has 8 o'clock? Who has 8 o'clock? So, if you have 8 o'clock, you're going to hold your card up and say, I have... Good job. All right, let's see who's ready. By the time I get to 10, listen, put your hands, good job. By the time I get to 10, don't move till I say go. By the time I get to 10, your dry erase clocks are in your folder without shoving, without pushing, nice and neat. Hands folded, show me that you're ready. One, two, Four, five, you don't have to run. Six, seven, good roll follower. Eight, hands folded, show me that you're ready. Good job. Good job. Good job. 20 tickets. Zahari has 20 tickets. Say, good job, Zahari. Good job, Zahari. Hands folded. Hands folded. Hands folded. Down the front row. Good job following directions. Good job following directions. So, small groups to identify. Let's go over our rules. Ready? Mirrors and words. Mirrors and words. 
when the minute hand points to the six, and the hour hand is half past the hour, then it's half past the hour. Teach. When the minute hand is on the six, and the hour hand is half past the hour, then it's half past the hour. All right, let's make some time. Is the time on my clock, is this a half hour time? What hand do I have to move around the clock? Which one is the minute hand, the longer one or the shorter one? And, well, let's answer in a complete sentence. The minute hand is the longer hand. Can I move it this way? No. Is that the right way or the wrong way? No. Let's say in a complete sentence, that is the wrong way. Which is the right way? I'll take it off from here. Is that the right way? Yes. Tell me when to stop when I have a half hour. Is that a half hour time? No. Tell me what time it is on the clock in a complete sentence. What time is it on the clock? Wow. Does that say 9.30? No, why doesn't it say 9.30 in a complete sentence? Why doesn't this clock say 9.30? Why doesn't it say 9.30? Because. Because it's 9 o'clock. How can I get it to say 9.30? In a complete sentence, to say 9.30, the minute hand needs to be where? That the six. Now does it say 9.30? Yeah, say good job, Mr. A. Good job, Mr. A. All right, now let's match some times up. So you guys know. This clock says, what time does this clock say? So I need to find an analog clock with hands. Where's the hour hand going to point? Eight. And where's the minute hand going to point? Well, it says eight o'clock. Oh, clock 12. So the hour hand will point at eight, and the minute hand's going to point to? Twelve. Let's find the clock. Let's see if we can find the clock that says eight o'clock. Analyze all of the puzzle pieces, select and, and figure out which one has the hour hand at the 8, the minute hand, oh, we found it. Does this clock have the hour hand at the 8 and the minute hand at the 12? Yes, and look, if you see, they go together. What'd you lose, your head? What are you looking for? I thought your head fell off. All right. Oh, here's one. What is it? 2.30. What time is it? 2.30. So I'm looking for a clock with the hour hand pointing to what number? Well, it's 2.30. So the hour hand's going to be between the 2 and the... No, 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 the hour hand. I mean, the Wait, wait, wait. At 2.30. No. Is this 2.30? No, did it, it didn't even get to the 2 yet, right? Did it get to the 2 yet? No. No. Is that 2.30? Yeah. My hour hand is between the 2 and the 3, and the minute hand is at the? 6. Let's find the analog clock. Oh, you found it already. I found it when I was teaching. You found it when I was teaching. All right. All right, hold on. Have a seat. Bottom in your chair. Does it say this matches? All right, yours? 2 o'clock? 12 o'clock?
Good job not running with scissors. Good. Two. Here's your ticket. Three. Looking to see who's ready. Four. Five. Six. Joseph's ready. No binders yet. We're not ready to go home. Seven. Move folders away. Hands locked. Just like Kira. Eight. Don't forget the trash can. Nine. Good job. Ten. Eleven. Good job over there. You guys, you guys did so well. I'm going to give you some another point. Give yourselves a woo woo. Woo woo. Do you think that you are professional time tellers? Yes. All right. So, can we tell time to a half hour? Yes. Did we construct time on our yes. digital clocks? Yes. Did we construct time on our dry erase clocks? Yes. Did we do small group? Yes. Good job. Give yourselves a woo hoo! Woo hoo! All right, so now I'm going to show us how we're going to play our math game one more time. I have, who has? 